Welcome back to my channel, West Coast Finest, bringing you valuable and quality content with every single video. Thanks for tuning in. Peace and blessings, fam. It's your girl T back again, uplifting, empowering, giving back self esteem, self confidence, and what? Encouraging self care. Yes, as you can see, this is my client. She is a new client who found me on what? Yelp. Yes, and she came to me, desperate me to get her hair done. As you can see, she has some alopecia, and some hair loss in many areas. So I am going to give her the style that she desired, which is a full sew-in. And I am going to, of course, start by moisturizing and massaging her hair and scalp with what? Our g, &G hair growth butter. Yes, our g, &G 100% all natural hair growth butter. So as you can see here, I am massaging that hair butter deeply into her scalp to nourish those hair follicles and get her hair moisturized really, really well before I even begin to start her braid pattern. So yes, our G&G hair growth product is made by myself and my granddaughters. So yes, that's what G&G &G stands for, grandmother and granddaughters. Our prices are very affordable, so please get your order in now. Uh, our prices are very reasonable. Our small jars are $10, our large jars are $20, and we are in the process of incorporating some medium jars. And the medium jars will be $15. So yes, again, we keep our prices affordable because what our ultimate goal and our ultimate purpose is to promote hair growth. So yes, our G&G 100% all natural hair growth butter has nothing but all natural products. Yes, we have like castor oil, we have some food food oil, we have all the carrot oil. We also incorporate some herbs like basil, mint, and parsley, which is good to help promote hair. So yes, again, our small jars at $10, our large at $20, and we will soon be incorporating our medium jars, jars, which will be $15. So again, as you can see, I am deeply massaging this hair growth oil, this hair growth butter, into her hair, into her scalp, all over Venus. I moisturize the scalp, I'm also moisturizing the hair itself. I'm moisturizing the hair shafts as well as her hair follicles. And now I'm going to get started with the braid pattern because her hair is very fragile. I am braiding very lightly. Although I sped this up and it's in a fast motion, I am being very, very gentle with her hair because it is fragile and I do not want to promote any tension or any more hair loss than she's already experiencing. When I get to the front, I am going to leave some of the very front out because I feel that that is the most fragile part of her hair and it's much more stronger towards the middle. So I'm going to see, as you can see here, I'm parting some of that out. I'm not starting at the very tip of her hairline. I'm leaving that portion out because I feel that that portion is a little weaker and I don't again want to put any tension on the weakest part of her hair. So, if you are interested in watching how I achieve this style, please continue to watch. Again, my ultimate goal is to help as many people as I can. I feel that doing hair is the talent that God blessed me with, and this is my way of giving back. Uh, yes, thank you again so much. For
for supporting my channel. Please continue to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Share my videos, like, give me a thumbs up if you like this style. Again, please continue to watch. I'm just going to continue her braid pattern and then I'll come back and I'll explain more in detail my next step. Thank you. Tease, braids, weaves, and wigs. Okay fam, as you can see here, I have completed her braid pattern and around her edges where her hair was very fragile, I did two beehive braids, meaning I did those braids around in a circle because I did not want to put any tension and any pulling on it, so I did not want to braid that part of her hair going back. So I used the hair in around the sides and braided it around the circle in a beehive. So of course now I'm getting ready to install a stretchy net. Yes, I only use the stretchy nets. They are the most comfortable. They don't itch. I use the kind here that she brought. However, I, they do have kinds that are soaked with argan oil and those are the ones that I preferably use because they already have that oil soaked into the net. However, the stretchy nets are my favorite. If you have not used a stretchy weaving net, please try it, ladies, because you will love it. They are much softer. They last longer. It's just so much more flexible and very easy to use and to work with. So again, here I am using the stretchy weave net and I'm going to sew that down on her hair. I'm going to use this net for protection between the sewing in her hair extensions or her hair tracks so that I'm not sewing directly onto her natural hair. This weave net is a barrier and it's a protection between sewing of the hair and sewing on her natural hair. So I will be putting more of the tension and the weight will be on the net opposed to being on her hair. So yes, yeah, sometimes I get plenty of questions asking, well, what is the purpose of using the net? Is the net necessary? Should you use it or should you not? I suggest that anyone who is suffering from any hair loss, who have alopecia, who have any thin hair or damaged hair, yes, please use a, a weaving net. I think it's just the most healthiest thing to do because again, like I said, it serves as a barrier and a weight protector for your natural for your natural hair. That way most of the weaving and the thread and the, the weight of the hair is on the net and not so much on your natural hair. So yes, I suggest that you use it. So here I am going to use this 13 by four frontal on her hair and I am going to just sew this down for her. Uh, as you can see, I just put the frontal down. I'm going to sew it down on the sides, but I also use my famous elastic band. Yes, anytime I have clients who have hair loss, alopecia, I prefer to use my elastic band method because it holds the frontal or the closure in place longer. If it's much more comfortable, it makes it fit a lot flatter on the head and the front. 
So yes, that is what I do. I find it gives me the best results and my clients love it. Yes, they love that it lays nice and flat and that is our ultimate goal is to make sure that that frontal or that closure lays nice and flat and flush with your skin or with your scalp. So please continue to watch. I'm just going to continue sewing on her straps here in the back until I get up to the top. And then we're going to style her hair and she will be on her way looking beautiful and again feeling good about herself she did not have to be embarrassed she did not have to be ashamed at all anymore of her hair because what no one has to know that she has any hair loss at all so again thank you so much for supporting my channel please continue to watch how i achieve this style and again if you haven't used that stretchy net get that stretchy net if you have not used that elastic band method i have plenty of videos showing how i use the elastic band whether it's just on the sides or whether it's a full band that goes all the way around the nape of your neck thank you continue to So yes, fam, here we are. Her style is completed. Yes, we are complete. And this style came out beautiful. It is nice and full. She has complete coverage all over. We cannot tell at all that she has any hair loss on the sides, at the top, in the back, any place at all. Look at this. Yes, look how full that is. Look at that hairline. It is nice and full. She did not want any baby hair, so we skip past that. However, it is one.